Hi everyone, I'm Terry, and this is the Yarn Joy Podcast, episode number 210. Welcome. Okay, well, I don't have a whole lot to show you this week, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I'll, but I'll show you what I, I'll show you what I got. <laughs> okay, so I have one finished object. This is something I just whipped up really quick. It's a little pattern that I have been wanting to try out, and, um, I, um, I did <laughs> and I like it <laughs> it's a little coin pouch um, I think it could be used but uh, for all different kinds of things but it is a pattern by whistle and ivory ivy <laughs> dot com <laughs> and here it is okay so it's this little coin pouch and it's got this uh, built-in this this uh, hanging string or whatever is built into the pattern and I put a clip on the uh, worked it in as I was making this chain right there okay so I think that's cool because you don't have to there's nothing that you have to sew on so that's awesome you start at the bottom and you work it in the round and you go up and then you change uh, change colors if you want the flap to be a different color okay and then you you uh, put that on there <laughs> so all you have to do all you have to sew on is the button Okay, it's got a, a button hole that is worked in as you're making the flap. Okay, right there. So there's the flap. Okay, and um, it's it's a nice size. Uh, I think it would be really cute to put. You could put um, if you're going to use it for crafting. You could put stitch markers in it, or possibly I don't know about a needle. But I know you could put stitch markers in it. Um, little row counters, if you use those little small row counters. Um, maybe a, a small little pair of scissors. Let me see. Yeah, I've got a, just a minute here. Yeah, I have some of these. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you've probably seen them, but they're those little folding scissors. Okay, and so, um, yeah, this folding scissors would fit down in there and some stitch markers. Um, you could use them for that and then clip it, um, you know, if, if you have it somewhere you could clip onto the inside of your project bag. Uh, you could possibly clip it onto, if you have a zipper pocket inside the bag that you're using, you know, you could clip it to that little zipper pull inside and it'd be hanging there and it would be holding your... Um, small notions so that way they wouldn't get away from you. Uh, you could use it as a coin um, coin bag or whatever if you want to clip it to your belt loop or something you know I don't know if it would be small enough you might be able to put keys in it I don't know um, but anyway I think it's really cute and it's very simple pattern I use cotton yarn um, it's the same yarn I use for the bunny rattle the the uh, shirt <laughs> and uh, this was just a button that I sewed on that I just made sure it would fit through the buttonhole and it was just a button I had in my button box <laughs> so um, so there you go. I think it's really cute. Uh, now I did. I do notice that if you look at the back here, it looks to me like this where the pull tab is. It's a little bit off centered. See that? And I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm left-handed, and so when I when I crochet, I crochet uh, clockwise. I think, don't I? No, <laughs> I crochet counterclockwise yeah and um, right-handed people crochet the other direction so anyway maybe that's why my my little hang tag my hanging um, st string whatever <laughs> is a little bit off center but you can shift it just a little bit and, and make it more centered but anyway just the thought if you're left-handed and you're following the pattern you may want to reverse the stitches maybe to get that that little pull that hanging tab over another maybe probably just one more stitch over and then that would be make it more centered but anyway besides that <laughs> I think it turned out really cute and I like it uh, I think it would also it might it might be uh, good for um, um, the Garfield uh, make along that I'm participating in the Amber of Ooh All Crochet is hosting uh, for the, the elementary kids because they can still clip them on their backpacks like a backpack buddy but maybe they could hold I don't know little coins in there maybe I don't know do they still take coins to 
to buy something at school. I don't know. <laughs> I've been to school in a long time, so <laughs> and my kids were homeschooled, so I'm not sure. I guess they don't have milk money anymore, do they? <laughs> but uh, anyway, oh, and people that go to Aldi, I know uh, I don't have Aldis here, but I have heard that the Aldis, the grocery stores that are here in the states, that you have to put like a quarter to get your cart or something. Maybe you could store your Aldi money in here. Um, um, to use the carts, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> I think it's turned. I th I like it. I think it turned out really cute. And you could do it striped or you know any colors. Okay, that is my only finished object. But I do have three works in progress that I worked on just a little bit. So let me show you that. Okay, so I've been working on the uh, the chart of the toucan. I think I showed it to you last week, and that I was going to uh, you make that panel and then make the other parts and turning it into a tote bag is what my plan is with it. Well, anyway, I finished the chart of the toucan, so now I can show you. Now, it's rough still because, um, well, I'll tell you in a minute, but anyway, here is, I can actually hold it up because the only thing attached to it now is some green, okay, the main color. But anyway, here is my uh, toucan. Now it is, the corners are kind of curling a little bit, but anyway, here it is. I think it turned out really cute. I really like that. Now the reason I said it's rough, because let me show you the hot mess on the back. See all these strings? That is the strings that I had to cut when I'm finished. Oh, I'm sorry, I knocked something off my... T death, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'll get it in a minute. <laughs> um, when you change colors, you have to cut, you know, I mean, that's where I cut my ends, okay? But I leave it kind of long for n until I get uh, to the point where I'm going to refine it, I guess you'd say. I don't know. But anyway, what I do is I use these tails and I go like along the edges and different places that I feel like the, the colors need to be kind of smoothed out like see on the beak there it's supposed to have a piece that goes down and you can kind of see the stitch is there but if I use some more of the black you know one of my black tails uh, I can kind of smooth out that beak and, and so then the lines the edges would make it look better and like here that small amount of white right there is supposed to be white for his eye and see it's not even a solid it don't look like a solid stitch although it is but I will take the white tail because I left a good size tail and then I will go back and uh, kind of restitch that a little bit to make it a better eye and it stands out okay so that's what that's how I do it <laughs> anyway so the panel is finished so yay <laughs> and now I need to um, work out the back panel the back panel I'm probably gonna do like the flamingo bag that I did before where I take out the there now there's eight colors total that I used and so I'll use those eight colors and I will make a panel the same size and uh, it, but like stripes and just kind of repeat those colors that's what I did with the other one it turned out pretty cute um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Now, it's not my idea. The flamingo bag actually is a pattern that, um, I'll link it below. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to find it, but I'll link it below. It was a free pattern. And so I'm just kind of going by that. She, the, the designer of that flamingo bag did the same thing with the back panel where she used the stripes. And so that's the idea I'm going to get for this. But I'm doing the bottom and the sides of the bag different because this piece is not that wide. So anyway, there's that. <laughs> okay, um, work in progress number two is uh, the the mice Bernard and Bianca from you know the rescuers. Well, that's rescuers inspired. <laughs> um, here is Bernard. Of course, I have had had I've had him finished for a while. Okay, well, I started working on Bianca last week. I showed you only had her uh, body. Looks like a tooth. <laughs> uh, Okay, well, the only thing else I have done is I have made her head and put the safety eyes in, okay? Uh, I haven't, of course, made her ears yet, um, and then I've got to make her arms, and then sew the pieces together, and, of course, make her clothes. But I'll pop in a picture right here of what the couple is going to look like once Bianca is finished. Okay, so that is what Bianca is 
sort of going to look like, or at least, you know, because that, that of course, is not my picture. It was the picture with that came with the pattern. Um, so, but that's kind of like what the, the group, the, the pair is going to look like. <laughs> Okay, so coming along, I've got the actual, I started on the ears, but I noticed I made a mistake on the ears, the outer ear part, the back part that's white, uh, and I had to do the pink on the inside, so, but I, I fastened off too early on the outer part of the ear, and so I'm going to have to fix that, so. Anyway, still working on that. Okay, and the only other works in progress that I started, I almost finished it, but not quite. Um, but I was having such a good time working on them that, that I almost got them all the way finished, but uh, not quite, like I said. Anyway, these are some baby sandals that I found the pattern for. It is a pattern uh, by ashleymarie.com is where you can find it. And of course, I will put a link in the description box below where you can find all of these patterns. Uh, but anyway, it's some baby sandals. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. And you know who that's for? It's for my, my uh, grandson. <laughs> and so um, now it called for a button. And I don't know if I'm going to put a button because... If you've been around babies and try to put shoes on them, you know that they are just squirmy, squirmy and wiggling, wiggling their cute little feet. And so I know trying to use a button would be uh, difficult or, you know, take, yeah, it'd be kind of difficult. And so I was thinking I might, uh, instead of putting a button, there is a buttonhole, but it's very tiny. It has to have been a very tiny button, which would have been even more difficult to, to button. So I am think I'm going to do is just put a snap, either a snap or maybe a small amount of Velcro stitched on, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, maybe it'll be a snap. But anyway, so the, the sandals are done. I've got both of them here, see? I just need to go back and make another sole, you know, hold the whole sole, and then uh, sew it onto the bottom so that way the sole part will be stiffer. Um, yeah, we'll kind of hold its shape better. And so anyway, this size is supposed to be, um, I think, I think I made it where I was thinking it'd be a three to six months, something like that. And so uh, his little feet are not this big yet, but um, it is, the weather here in Texas is so mild that in three, at least in, at the three, point, three to five months, part or whatever <laughs> when he's that age it'll still be warm enough so he can wear the little sandals but anyway they're they're so cute <laughs> i think they turned out so cute and i i used um uh let's see this is red heart super saver in buff the 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 khaki color okay and then the the blue is uh, karen simply soft some sort of light blue i can't remember like baby blue or no soft blue maybe that's what it's called uh, and then the the brown is it's is brown and it's I think called chocolate or something but it's also the red hearts I oh, no the Karen simply soft um, dark, the dark brown it's like chocolate or something I don't know. I think that's what it's called anyway anyway those are my sand the in progress little baby sandals I just thought they were just so cute I had to make them <laughs> okay so that is all everything that I've worked on. <laughs> uh, this past week has been another busy week. Um, we, uh, if you watched my Whip Wall Wednesday episode yesterday, uh, you do, you, um, yeah, I mentioned it, but, and then I have a picture on Facebook, but I will pop it in in just a minute to kind of show you what's going on. But anyway, I am redoing my craft room again. Not this. This is great. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> but my closet, okay, um, I think I have an old picture of inside the closet so you can see what it looked like before. If I do, yeah, I'll pop it in right here, okay? Okay, so as you can see, that closet is a, is a wide, uh, shallow closet and it's got two folding like the accordion doors, okay? This house was built in the 70s and so that was kind of the, the type of, um, closets they had at that time is that was the style <laughs> but anyway um actually the accordion doors my husband put in there um when he remodeled this room and turned it into a craft room before it was just it was a big sliding well two sliding doors and one door would slide in front of the other door and which would cover up half of the closet and so you couldn't see the whole closet open at one time you know you could get into one half or you had to slide the doors open uh, to the other side to get to the other half so we took those out and uh he, we put in these accordion 
door so you could open it wide anyway as you can see in the picture I had a dresser that I had sitting in there which I loved it had eight drawers in it so that's one that was great but um, the only thing about it well a couple of things okay one thing it did fit in the closet but it was so wide that I could not open the drawers all the way open pull them all the way out because of the according the accordion closet doors okay so that was a problem okay um, and also since it was just drawers it was um, the drawers had no dividers or anything on the inside of the drawers and so I used to try to use the, the little plastic box a little plastic trays and in different things I don't think I have one within reach that I can show you but you I'm sure you've seen them they're like from um, from Dollar Tree oh here's one maybe I can pull it out here like this this one's in my drawer here but anyway you know those little tray containers anyway I tried to use that some but it was just I just had a hard time getting it organized it's just very difficult well so um, my son okay the one that still lives here my younger son he had a dresser that I liked a whole lot better because the top part opened up double doors and it had some cubbies in it and different things and and then there was how many drawers I'm counting hmm three <laughs> drawers below that but then you had that upper area okay I'll take some pictures of it uh, I'll, I can put one picture in yeah I, ha I took one picture already where we got it in the closet because we I swapped with my son and um, but I will take a picture of it with the doors open so you can see what's inside there anyway so we decided to swap and I like this so much better because if you uh, let me put the pictures in right here and then I'll talk about it <laughs> Okay, so if you saw the first picture, you can see that the, the, the dresser is not as wide as uh, the one that was in there before. And so I have room on the right-hand side of that dresser, and I'm hoping that you could get into the closet or, you know, more, more access to more of the closet. And so I'm hoping that... Um, I can put some shelf. My husband <laughs> can put some shelves in there for me, to, so I'll have some more storage area. Uh, now it is taller than the other dresser, and so we had to move up one of the shelves, real skinny. I mean, look, where there's only some small items. Uh, those, oh, those trays from Dollar Tree that I bought several of this size right here. Well, that can go into um, that shelf that we had to move up to allow to get you know, to get the dresser in there. I don't, know, I don't know what you call it, a dresser or chest of drawers. It's not really either. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, we're rearranging things. Long story short. And so I've started rearranging them. I've got things pulled out. It's a mess in here right now because things are pulled out of the closet. And now I'm trying to get things back in and also thinning out some stuff. So I've been busy working on that. But I will give you a tour of it uh, once it's all put together <laughs> so I've been working on uh, working on that this week and then also um, I had the honor of um, visiting with little man my grandson uh, and help take care of him for a couple of day a couple of days or two different days this week for a few hours so that was fun I was able to spend some time with with him he is adorable <laughs> um, and so anyway so that's what's been going on. I didn't, that's when, why I did not get a whole lot more done. It's good. It's all good. <laughs> so um, next week, hopefully, it, it, it will have more, I'll have more stuff. So upcoming, okay. So upcoming, uh, yesterday I did Whip Wall Wednesday, episode 31. So I'll link that below. You can see that project because I did a lot on that and then um, this upcoming Wednesday will be the next episode of movie and stitch I will be sh telling you about the movie that I want wa I'm going to watch haven't watched it yet that begins with the letter L and then announce what's happening after that because there's a double feature coming up so um, I'll talk about that then <laughs> okay and then let's see oh and I haven't done preemie hat number four for this month of June and so I need to get that done and have it to show for next week so um, so exciting things coming up all as always <laughs> so uh, I guess that is it so thanks guys for watching um, 
if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel I thank you all for those that you that have subscribed welcome to my new subscribers and uh, hello to those that have been with me um, all this time <laughs> uh, I thank you I appreciate it so much so like I said if you haven't subscribed to my channel pre please consider doing so so you can follow along on the progress of my projects that I work on um, and you'll you know you can click that bell down below and you it's down below on the right hand side if you're watching on a laptop or computer not sure about a phone I think it's down there kind of if you're on your phone but anyway click that so that way you'll be notified once you subscribe you will be notified every time I uh, put out a new video so anyway thanks I appreciate it everybody have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video bye